Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was just uh, editing a photograph that's a kind of great example for um, looking at the problems of haze and so I thought I'd do a video on it. So here we go. Yeah, this is uh, in Yellowstone down by the big waterfall. So the waterfall is just coming down here looking down the canyon and there's loads of mist going out across here. Not a great day either. So Let's have a quick look at what you can do with just the, the haze removal tool. It is destructive, I'm afraid, so I'm just going to do a Control J here to get a duplicate layer. Come on, there we go. Um, so we can see the before and after. I'll always go backwards, of course. So filters here and go down the to haze removal. There it is. There's no uh, non-destructive version, but that's okay. And let's bring up the thing when it thinks about it first, it analyzes the scene, it has a good old look at every single pixel and decides what it can do about it. So could be a little bit patient. Here we go. And there's this, there's what it's done. First go. That's a heck of an improvement, isn't it? We could even sort of turn that off where that's restarted and that's where it, it went to. So let's uh, see what can, these things do here. The strength usually what I kind of start with. I'm going to make this more of an effect. If I actually turn it all the way up, it goes pretty monkey. When you go down, it basically takes it away. It goes back to where you started from. So yes, yeah, somewhere about there is okay. But what can happen is when you're turning it up, it can start to get a bit dark. So uh, the exposure correction lets you work on that. You can turn it up or down. So it doesn't go I've got great big chunks, but it is quite handy. So I can turn that up to here, maybe turn up the strength a bit to just pull that back a bit as well. So you just play with the balance of these. And you can also play with the distance. And when you start moving this down, it basically stops it, it kind of goes from the top down and pulls it back a bit. It doesn't sort of haze it out too much because the haze is a bit odd in this in that it's sort of down here as opposed to like you're going looking through fog so you can bring that all the way down disappears but here you can bring it up and go so what i'd like to do here is not lose all this because this is a nice kind of effect without overdoing it so i can just balance that out there so there we go all three controls are quite useful try one at a time I usually start with strength, then go to exposure correction, and then play with distance. But any order you like, and just in the end, it's whatever you make it look like that's nice. So we'll apply that. And uh, that's it for that video. So hope you like that, and thank you very much for watching.